things look a little different around here. Harder to get out of the house. I'm doing well, Bo's doing well, Tyler's doing well. He just spit up. That one went down into the car seat. He doesn't love getting in his car seat, but once the car starts driving, he's out. We, we're gonna check out Kid to Kid. I don't know if you have heard of it. It's a, is it a consignment? Secondhand, I believe it's consignment. Yeah, because people sell their baby clothes there and they resell them. Okay. Um, but they are having a sale, so I believe it's 60% off of markdowns and 10% off of everything else. Getting out of the house on my own is always such an accomplishment to me. I have all the bags, my water bottle, and got the baby and we're ready to go. So first we went to Kid to Kid, like I said. They have a huge selection, pretty much everything you would need for a baby, for a child. The sale was not as great as I thought it'd be, but things are organized by color, so we love that. Bo needed to be pushed continuously, and if I stopped, he knew it, and he would start crying. <laughs> but, lots of cute things. How it worked is the tag had to have a stamp on it, as you can see here, and I couldn't find many items with stamps on it, so I only found one pair of pants for Bo, but they have, like I said, a huge selection. Then we went to the Dollar Tree. I was looking for a few containers to organize a cabinet in our house. Not the best quality, but if you're looking for something easy and cheap, it is the place to go. So I found a couple containers that I think will work for the space I'm trying to organize. I had a few minutes to browse and then we, we had to go. Had to go eat. <laughs> Running errands with a newborn is no joke. His his belly timer has gone off. We gotta get home. Let's make some dinner. I'm going to put on this wrap. Here we go. Took me a minute to learn how to do this. But hopefully he enjoys being in here while I make some dinner. It's the boba wrap. I'm sure they're all very similar, but yeah, I completely forgot I had it until about last week, which I'm bummed because it's really great for like tiny, no, I'm getting confused, tiny babies. Um, and I think Bo is almost getting too big for it, getting too heavy for it, I should say. Because it's such a stretchy material, he gets in it fine and then falls asleep and his body gets relaxed and next thing you know, he's like down on my belly instead of up here. I think he just weighs it down. Takes a second to get in. Oop. Okay. Making cheeseburger soup. If you subscribe to my mom's channel, Morgan's Off The Leash, um, you know this is a family favorite. He is six weeks old, so I thought it'd be fun as I'm making dinner to talk about the first six weeks, what that has looked like, what we've learned, how he's doing. Give you guys a little bit of an update and a little fun little way to document. Oh, we are clearly behind. We still have our no November gratitude challenge on the fridge. Um, we still have our Christmas decorations up, um, but we're making dinner today, so. He's definitely awake more often. The first, like, two to three weeks, I swear all he did was eat and sleep. He is smiling a lot more, which is super cute. And he's getting big. He was a big baby to start, but he's definitely growing. Lost a little bit of his hair, like within the last week, but he still has a decent amount. Some things I've learned in the first six weeks, um, number one would probably be patience. 
Um, patience with him, patience with myself, patience with Tyler. Uh, just all around patience. There are so many things. I feel like you could read as many books and listen to all the advice, but I'm learning that it's very different when you're experiencing it yourself and you just figure it out what works best for you and your baby. I like to get everything cut up. Got my onions and carrots doing the potatoes now i think i have too many potatoes and everything set out on the counter that way as the soup is cooking and you have to put stuff in these are kind of big but it's fine it's easy just to toss everything in another question people have been asking is how is he doing at night um i feel like that's the kind of go through question or stick you know comment when you have a newborn is like oh are you getting any sleep um honestly yeah and i i say that with my fingers crossed and i will knock on wood i will feed him right before we go to bed and then he will wake up usually like right in the middle of the night around like one two o'clock sometimes three uh, depending on when his last feeding was the day before the night before um yeah once in the middle of the night and then pretty early the next morning so like i'll take it like i'm getting six sometimes if i'm lucky seven hours of sleep so with a newborn i don't know if this will last as he gets older i, I hope it does i hope it only gets better but um yeah a couple of times i got really lucky fed him a little bit later he went down a little bit later and then he slept until five or six so it wasn't so it's kind of only like once waking up Items we have used frequently in the first six weeks. I loved watching videos like this when I was pregnant with, because it was my first child. You know, I had a general idea of things you needed, clothes, diapers, wipes, stuff like that. But there's so many baby products out there um, that I was watching TikToks or YouTube videos of people and what they recommend of what you need and what you don't need and yada yada. Um, I think there's a very small list of essential things you actually, actually need to keep a baby alive. Most of the products out there, in my opinion, are convenience, right? Which, I'm all about convenience. Just off the top of my head, I know I showed you guys some things um, when we were setting up the nursery in those videos. Bottle sterilizer, I'm looking at it right now. Um, I do use this. A bottle warmer. I am exclusively breastfeeding, except I'm trying to incorporate a bottle once a day to get him familiar with that because I will be going back to work, unfortunately. I keep saying that I'm not going back to work if I run into a bunch of money. Um, I'm six weeks in, so I have six weeks left, and I've not run into a bunch of money yet, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, the pack and play we have set up over here, if you saw that in one of our last videos, um, it has like the changing station and the little bassinet on top. We use that every single day. The drying rack I showed you guys in a previous video. I do love that. I use that every day, multiple times a day. Another item I use every day, multiple times a day is this collapsible um, dish bin. Dish. There's a word for it and I don't know. Dish, pe not pail dish bucket you know what i'm trying to say um 
it folds flat, it collapses, uh, but this is nice to throw in the sink and throw all the bottles and parts in there so it's not getting contaminated with food and whatnot. We use a lot of things in his nursery. I spend a lot of time in there, especially at night um, when I'm feeding him. One million burp cloths, everyone said that. That is 100% true. Um, yes, I'm actually gonna place an order for some more. Like we have a decent amount, but I'm constantly doing laundry. So again, convenience. We could live off like a handful of outfits and things like that if you were doing laundry like twice a day. Tyler just got home. What, what? Hey. I immediately bombarded him with 50 things I needed done. I walked in, went to kick off my shoe. She said, wait, don't take those off. Don't take those off. Took tank out. Got stuff out of my car. Got stuff out of my car. What I learned. Uh-oh. Here we when go. Here we go. I went to go get water jugs. So we have a water dispenser, so we get water jugs filled up. Anywho, um, I go in the car and my ironing board that I had when I first went to college, it was a shorty because it was for a college dorm room. I had an ironing board. It's in our car to donate. We have a full size one. Yeah, but you still, she just throws over my stuff. Um, now that Tyler's here, I wanted to ask him what he has learned in the first six weeks of being a dad. I think I learned that crying irritates me more than I thought it would. Well, what, um, what about it irritates you that you can't, like... That I can't get him to stop. Yeah. Occasionally. I'm okay at it. Hannah's way better at it. This whole parenting thing, Hannah's a stud. It's pretty uh -huh. evident. If you ever, like, truly were to meet her, um, it's pretty clear. Hannah's a killer mom I've already. I've loved babysitting over the years, whereas, like, you weren't really around babies or kids. I wasn't really. As no. as often as me. I right? wasn't. You're not ready for it. No one no one can prep you for it. And everyone says that, that you can't be prepped for it. I That's think I've heard I some, said. like, horror stories. I said, like, it's... It, people can give you all the advice, but it's so different. When it, yeah. Because every kid's so different. So, like, it makes sense. We, we kind of, we're a team. Like, we figured out both yeah. kind of take our parts. Yeah. Hannah's better at it, though. I do feel like when he's a toddler, it's like when Tyler's going to thrive. Like, toddler on. I'm like, excited playing about it. with him. Yeah. Yes. He's kind of is a bowl of jelly now. One thing, what is your favorite thing about him? Favorite thing about him is he looks like me. <laughs> he does look exactly like Tyler. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's so young, so it's hard to tell. He does look a lot like me, though. Probably just because he's a dude, you know, but... Everyone says that. Um, I mean, everyone says that, like, the joke of, like, oh, you know, I spent nine months growing him inside of me, and then they come out looking like they're down. It happened. What can I say? Merkley jeans are strong. Okay. Soup is done. <laughs> it doesn't look super appetizing, but I promise it's delicious. And we're just going to eat it with some bread. I have one left in there. We are gonna enjoy some cheeseburger soup now. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed our little update. Um, I think it's a fun way to kind of document um, what we've learned as parents in the first six weeks. And anything else? Nope. We will see you on the next one. Bye.